your pin comes from <laughs> Wes Anderson movie. Yeah, for <laughs> yeah. sure. Yeah, it is a bit Wes Anderson, right? <laughs> yeah. Non siamo lì. Vieni a prendere le ragazze. Devo restare con Woodrow. Dove siete? Asteroid City. Giovani astronomi e cadetti spaziali. Maya, what's this thing with you and monsters and aliens? Because here there's an alien. In Stranger Things there are several monsters. Why they seem to follow you everywhere? You know, I feel like, I don't know if you experience this in your work, but there often are, th are themes. Like I've, I've, I feel like I did two things. Now I'm forgetting. I did a movie called Little Women and then, then I did a movie called Lady World. <laughs> and like, and I feel like whether it's because people see you in an environment and then they can picture you there and then they want to put you back in that environment because they know that you'll make sense there or if it's just something about you that like th where themes start to run through characters because of things you're working out in yourself I, I feel like that's a that's a common thing um mm -hmm. so i don't think there's anything particular about me and aliens but I, <laughs> but i do think we often often the jobs that we wind up being in explore similar themes because of something we're working out in ourselves or because of the way that the world sees us. Very good. Very good answer. <laughs> Thank you. And to you both, in your opinion, what can we learn from monsters or aliens? I yeah. think we can learn that as, in fact, in one of our scenes in the movie, just because somebody is different doesn't mean that they need to be excluded. And in fact, they might have something to teach us. So I think the idea of embracing all walks of life is probably a metaphor in there somewhere. Absolutely, not imagining that someone is bad just because they're different than you, come from a different place. We see that um, a train is, is arriving to a third city and it, it, on it there are uh, avocados, pecans and a nuclear weapon. That's America. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it's definitely a bit of a comment about that, yeah. I read something recently that we now have too many avocados in America. That we've, the oh. demand for avocados has become so high that we order so many avocados, but they go bad quite quickly. Mm. So then we have, we can't sell them in time. And There's we have an these vast mountain. piles of avocados that are just going to waste. Yeah. Um, that feels like a, a, a decent American metaphor. And in, we've imported too many of a foreign, I mean, it's just ridiculous. Yeah. And we, do, we can't even get We've got through to eat all more. the avocados we've got we to need. eat more. That's what I think, that's what I, yeah. And you two have a, a musical number. You, you dance. Was it difficult or was it exciting? He's a great dancer. I'm we terrible. We loved it. We loved it. But it was great. It was boiling hot, though. Mm. And we both had... Did you have a lot of clothes on? Quite a lot of clothes. Quite a lot of clothes. And I have it all buttoned up. So <laughs> I just remember pouring with sweat. Um, and then it was a very precise thing with the camera. So it had to be quite sort of exact. But we basically just grabbed each other and had fun. Yeah. Did, did you teach her? No, no, she's great. No, no, no. I, no you, well, I just, you just, you just learn the dance, and he learned where he was meant to be, and, I, and then I just held on for dear life and hopped yeah. up and down. Yeah. Um. Joseph's first one character says that time is supposed to heal all wounds, but he said, I, I don't agree. Uh, maybe it's just um, a band aid. Ah. Do you agree with him? I think um, time probably helps heal wounds, but if you haven't uh, had a chance to process them you know um, Robert Frost said the, the only way around is through mm -hmm. and I think that's probably the case if you just put it on a shelf it's like if you put a band-aid on a dirty cut then it's gonna go bad does that make sense I think it's lovely and if you but if you clean it and look at them yeah, it's a bit of a weird metaphor yeah, yeah we're getting philosophical you a little bit, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if time heals all wounds you're thinking about a wound now, aren't you? Um, yeah. <laughs> you went down into your wound thinking phase. Yeah, my wound thinking phase. Yeah. No, but I definitely think that, yeah, time and work. And hugs. Yeah, time and work and, and hugs, hugs and... Yeah. yeah. Mm. Avocados. And avocados. And avocados. <laughs> uh, Wes Anderson movies are known for their um, beautiful pastel colors. Asteroid City is also beautiful. And, and, and yet the reality is black and white. Do you believe that we can be happy only in a Wes Anderson movie. <laughs> <laughs> you mean rather than in real life? Yes. Um, I think it would be interesting to spend time in inside of, well, we did spend time in a Wes Anderson movie yeah. and it's great. Um, it was better than real life for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, At the time. But the thing is that's quite metaphorical because it was real life as yes, well. Yes, exactly. You know? 
And the, the times that we had together offset were wonderful. You know, we all lived together in a monastery in Spain and ate together every night and went <laughs> swimming and uh, played cards and did all that kind of stuff. Avocados. Uh, we, <laughs> there weren't any avocados, actually. <laughs> they could have gotten some of the spare ones yeah. from America. <laughs> I feel like the I had a, a teacher who said that um, movies and plays and things are life with all the boring bits cut out. Oh, that's good. And if you cut out all the grays and, 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 and blacks and, you know, if you cut out all the ugly colors and you just make the beautiful ones, then it, it is very bright and beautiful to look at. But life has all the beautiful colors uh, uh, as long as w with all these other colors. And if things were only bright, beautiful colors, I think it would be overwhelming and, and they would start to appear dingy themselves. So I think it's, it's, it's important to have the boring bits to make the, the exciting bits exciting. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Your pin comes from <laughs> Wes Anderson movie. <laughs> Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, it is a bit Wes Anderson, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Fate train, fate train.